Oh. Yeah. Now I want to bring in my colleague, Dan Abbas. We just missed that. I'll recap that for those of you who didn't hear it. What he was saying was we're watching this on the closed captioning. He was saying that he was very disappointed that Saudi Arabia would not accept any of these refugees out of this war. Of course, we know that. Of course, what nobody is talking about is the, the horrendous war that Saudi Arabia is conducting on its southern neighbor, Yemen. We had a picture on our website of a weapon there that was deliberately set up to target civilians. It looked like an exploded lightsaber. But that's the Saudi Arabia that we know, the Saudi Arabia that beheads more people than ISIS that is intricately involved with the CIA and our dark side of our government. They get a free pass because of the petrodollar. That's why they're doing this. And in Western civilization, we need to make it clear that our faith in the Jewish and Christian principles force us to live a life bigger than ourselves, to Thank be sinners governor. in justice. I would also add so that, that what Rand Paul was saying was that uh, we needed to not have boots on the ground in this conflict. He said we could support the Kurds with air support. I would like to see a more non-interventionist foreign policy. I think what we need to do is we need to stop the war, stop starting wars. We need to pull out. We can give some humanitarian aid to the countries that we have destroyed, and we need to mind our own business. We need to rebuild our country instead of focusing on destroying other countries. But that's precisely what they don't want you to do. They don't want you to focus on the destruction that these people and the Democrats have inflicted on America. They want you to focus on the fearful Auslander, as Hitler would call them, the foreigners who are a threat to you. They want to tell you. We need Thank to reform you, the Department of Defense. Thank we you. need as well to invest Thank in you, our military Fiorina. technology. We're going, to turn to We're going to turn to domestic issues and now And we Dana need to Bash. care for our veterans. So 307,000 of Bash. them aren't She's not going to shut up. waiting for health care. Thank you. Dana Bash. Governor Bush, let's talk about an issue that's very wow. important to Republican voters, and that's the Supreme Court. Uh, after Chief Justice John Roberts voted to uphold Obamacare twice, Senator Cruz criticized your brother for appointing John Roberts to the Supreme Court. Looking back on it, did your brother make a, mis a mistake? Well, I'm surprised Senator Cruz would say that since he was a strong supporter of John Roberts at the time. I, I, I will talk about what I will do as President of the United States as it relates to a Maybe we should talk about why John Roberts sure wrote both the assenting and dissenting opinions on Obamacare. Was he blackmailed? We all talked about that. We said, do they have dirt on him? Then we found out they were deliberately targeting him, and I think it was uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, were directly being targeted. We also found out after we were all speculating about that that uh, we had massive NSA surveillance was confirmed to everyone, and we knew that was happening. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's one of the key things we have to worry about about a Stasi surveillance state that all these people except for Rand Paul support. And I'm saying all of them. Donald Trump says that Ed Snowden is a total traitor. And he said, you know what we do with traitors? Implying that he needs to be in prison, needs to be executed. So every one of these guys except for uh, Rand Paul want to make a bigger mess of uh, the Fourth Amendment the Constitution, a bigger shred of, of uh, paper out of I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We've got a special guest, and he's a very dangerous man. This is someone that you speak to on a on a weekly basis, maybe. Yeah, yeah we're good good friends. friends. Yeah. So go ahead and introduce our guest. Well, the reason why I say he's a dangerous man, I, and I personally don't think he's dangerous, but the federal government certainly does, and that's because of his ability to unite people of all color. And uh, we've even got proof from his official FBI profile that says he's dangerous for that reason. And, of course, I'm talking about Larry Pinckney, and he is a member of the original Black Panther Party, also a victim of COINTELPRO, a political prisoner for 10-plus years. And he joins us now from the land of Mordor. And, Marcos, I'll read that in a second, but first let's get Larry on. Larry, welcome to the InfoWars Money Bomb. It's good to have you. Brother, this is fantastic, uh, and I want to also extend my kudos to to uh, Brother Joe sitting there with you. Uh, but what can I say? Let's rock and roll. That's well, it. I'm ready to rock and roll, too. But before we get started, I want to read the uh, FBI profile they have on you. And this is, we obtained this from the Freedom of Information Act. This is what it says about our guest, Larry Pinckney. Pinckney is potentially dangerous due to his demonstrated ability to unify black and white. His associates are Negro, white, and Chinese. Special attention is being given to neutralizing him, <clears throat> COINTELPRO. The areas of sex and drugs appear to be the most effective ones to utilize. His habits in this area are unknown but are being monitored with this objective. Wow. So now this was back during the civil rights movement, but Larry, the more things change, the more they stay the same. That's right. That's absolutely correct. And what we really need to understand is, well, I like it. You summed it up, Darren. You know, my brother, you said it. The more things change, the more they stay the same. If we allow them to be that way. And the reality is, COINTELPRO never died. The counterintelligence program never died. It still goes on. 
whether it's under NDAA, the Patriot Act, whatever you want to, whatever name someone wants to put on it, the reality is that, in fact, in this 21st century, in the year 2015, it is far worse, I repeat, far worse than ever before. Uh, and, and we need... I'm not saying this to make anybody paranoid. No, this is not about being paranoid. Just be aware. You know, stop going for the ghost. Let's understand that this is not a government of, by, and for the people. This is a government of, by, and for the global elite and the corporations. That's right. All right? So I just had to inject that. Well, that's right, and they, they, the government does not want to unite us. They want to divide us, and this is something that... Well, you can see that with the, with this whole Black Lives Matter thing. All it's done is divided the people here in America. You know, when I speak to a lot of my, uh, a lot of my friends, we would sit there and go, I didn't even know there was racism between, you know, you and I. Now I have to specify, oh, uh, my, my black friend or, you know, my white friend. It used to just be, hey, my buddy, you know, uh, Apollo. Yeah. Uh, Apollo is one of my great friends that I grew up with. Uh, we DJ together in clubs, and now we have to specify stuff. And then if you bring up the, you know, the white, the black, then you're racist. So there's really this huge division, and the Obama administration's definitely been behind that. They haven't denied it in any kind of way, and they're pushing this racist agenda forward. And I, what are your thoughts on that? Well, the bottom line is this. How can black lives matter if all lives don't matter. Oh, man. I mean, let's be honest. Stop shucking and jiving. <laughs> How can black lives matter if all lives don't matter? Okay? The lives of my black, white, brown, red, and yellow brothers and sisters all matter. The name of the game is to divide, to control, to manipulate. So, and let's remember uh, just a couple of weeks ago, the so-called leadership of Black Lives Matter sat down with who? Hillary the Butcher Clinton. Come on, let's get real. And we need to understand that we everyday ordinary black, white, brown, red, and yellow people, we are the only ones together, collectively, who are going to bring about effective systemic change. Only us. Not, we need to get off the plantation. That's right, I said plantation. We need to get off the plantation because that's where the Democrats and the Republicans have us. They have us on the plantation. It's time, as Thomas Jefferson said, for a revolution. He said, to quote him, every generation needs a new revolution. And the Democrats, in particular, are famous for that. I, I think that, uh, um, you know, my brother Darren and I have talked a little bit about Lyndon Johnson and what Lyndon Johnson had to say. Darren, you might want to elaborate on that. I don't know. Well, Lyndon Johnson was infam infamously known for saying that he'll have those N-words voting Democrat for the next, what, 100 years, I think was the quote? Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, we need to understand that as long as we uh, allow ourselves to be duped, and that's what we're doing. We allow ourselves to be duped. When I wrote years and years ago, and I tried to warn people about this Barack Obama creature, they said, oh, no, no, you don't understand. He's black. <laughs> that's what they said, right? And I said, you don't understand because you're acting like a damn fool. You need to pay attention to what a person is about. As Dr. King said, it's about character, not color. It's about character, not color. So you well, know, we have that happening are. all over again right now. We have that same That's thing right. happening now with Hillary Clinton. You have these feminists. You have these women coming out and going, well, just because she's a female, they're going to vote for and completely ignore all the horrible things she's done. Like you said, you called her the butcher earlier. She is a 
pretty much, I think, one of the most evil human beings out there. But people are going to look past that. And the fact that she's a woman, we just had the first black president. Now we have to move to have the first woman president so we can progress on and to completely ignore who she is as a person, which is what we should be paying attention to. Not what she looks like, not what genitalia she has, but who she is, her character, or lack thereof. That's right. That's right. And, and the fact that...